How glad I am to see you safe. Where have you been this past month? The end of the world. Are things truly so dire? Though, I am aware of the dragon attack on Mel. We received word that naught but a smoke in ruin remains. It was a tragedy. And I would not see it repeated. However, without a clear path, we and the guard shall be hard pressed to forestall the impending crisis. You would have me evacuate the city. I see. Mayhaps would be for the best. Ever since the fall of Mel, the citizens of Burnworth have lived in fear that their homes are next to be assailed. If there is safe harbor to be found elsewhere, I believe we have naught to lose by seeking sanctuary. But I doubt I could convince the people of this city to abandon their homes, however terrified they may be. Methinks your majesty would do better to ask this of the Regent King. After the false sovereign vanished and the world was altered, his grace has been the one keeping order here in Vermont. If the people will heed anyone, tis him. It is admirable how Regent Kin Sven has taken up command of the... So you've come. I'm glad to see you. Captain Brandt has already apprised me of your proposal. A full-scale evacuation of the citizenry. Truth be told, I had reached the same conclusion. So long as we cower within these walls, we must live in fear of going the way of Mel. My ministers have approved the plans, and I have petitioned the encampment survivors and the Thieves' Guild for aid. The only remaining obstacle is my mother. She has set herself stubbornly against any such flight. I have tried to make her see reason, but of late she has taken to shutting herself in her chambers. However... I fear that my position permits me to entertain her fancy no longer. I must put the needs of the common folk before her selfish whims. Now, there are a few matters I must attend to before we can evacuate. And I would fain welcome your assistance. We will require several ox carts to carry the sick and aged out of the city. Might I prevail upon you to petition the merchant at the Oxcart station in the west of the city for their use? You may assure him that the Royal Treasury will foot any and all expenses. Queen Regent Deesa hardly leaves her chambers, and all her meals come back scarcely touched. Between you and me, I fear for her health. Queen Regent Deesa hardly leaves her chambers, and all her meals come back scarcely touched. Between you and me, I fear for her health.
Have you come to claim my life, Arisen? Well, far be it from me to deny you. But I shall go to the grave with a smile on my lips, for I have no regrets. All I did, I did for my darling son. So do as you will. I have no intention of begging for mercy. What are you doing? Unhand me at once! Guards, help me! have brought mother to me, I see. My thanks, friend. You have done me a great service. Sven. You may leave us. Now that we can speak without a door twixt us, I am confident that I can persuade her. As long as I get my gold, who takes the carts is no concern of mine. His grace is welcome to them. We have chartered the ox carts as requested. It is a pleasant change for things to go so smoothly, eh, master? Aptly said. Mother, I must beg your forgiveness. I believed that you desired to make me sovereign solely for your own benefit. But in truth, you sought to better the lot of our people. Ah, but I would have benefited, and handsomely at that. Besides, I cannot deny that I was proud. I wish to see my own son on the throne, and no other. Even so, I cannot help but feel that all of this could have been avoided, had I only been more attentive. If I had but better known your heart, I could have shared in your burdens. You would not have had to suffer alone, and perhaps together, could have walked a better path. Oh, Sven. Mother, I beg you, join the evacuation. You need not fall with this city. I would not see you take your crimes wholly on your own shoulders. That weight is as much mine to bear as tis yours. My son. You truly would make a fine and goodly ruler. Your kindness will save many lives. Of that I have no doubt. Ah, you've returned. How fares your procurement of those parts? You do. My thanks. That puts paid to the last of our preparations. I will inform the citizenry forthwith. 